Today is a special day, my friends. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. And it is, it's a special day because, as you can see, the wheel loader is uh, again on the table. Sorry for the delay. Uh, it was my fault. And um, uh, just um, to put it in a nutshell, this RC model is awesome. Full stop. No discussion at all. Uh, I don't know if you checked the price of this thing. It is just a little bit more than $1,000 US dollars. And this is compared to other models, just really, really cheap. I know this is a lot of money, I know, but if you compare it to other models, it is just awesome. And what I, what I expected, and it is really, it is like this, the model is really well built. It is, yeah, it is awesome, my friends. It is really cool. And you can compare it to another one on the market uh, from a well-known, um, Asian manufacturer, but I think this one is just much better. Uh, the details are great, uh, as you can see in the video, and um, the pump is really doing a good job. Um, the only thing I would like to change is the controller of the pump. This is the, 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 the controller is doing a bit of a noise that might be annoying after a certain time, um, but uh, if I change it, I will let you know. The other thing I change are the speed controllers, so I will tell you later. But overall, this machine is just awesome. It is really, really great. So this is the battery I'm using. <clears throat> I'm actually using this really cool battery. So I hope that it's getting sharp and that you can see what's written on there. It is from uh, Mehrbot Electronic. It's a German, very small German company. Uh, it's a 2S-LIUN <clears throat> uh, uh, battery. And the cool thing is that this is really, as you can see, it is really small. And um, the manufacturer of this really cool model um, supposed to put the battery right in here. So you can, uh, it's not finished yet, as you know. You can just uh, open it this way and then the battery uh, is meant to be put right in here and so there's no space for a cabin <coughs> anymore and so the cool thing is that this battery is that small that you can let me show it to you this is not ready yet but it will be soon you can put it right under this hood So, it's done. Cool, huh? Um, and um, what I'd like to show you is how powerful it is. So far I have uh, this can right here and I will try to, to lift it. Let's see if it works. So, let's try to lift it. No problem at all. The manufacturer says that the manufacturer says that the lifting capacity is around 800 gram, uh, so almost one kilogram, and uh, this can is 500 gram, so this is no problem at all. So what I'd like to show you is how it works with the fork. So first of all, the, um, I just put the battery in the in the loader, uh, as you saw. Now let's turn on the um, the, co the commander, the, the radio control. So it's, as I said, it is the Scale Art um, Commander SA5000. So the big one. This is, as you already know from my other videos, a really, really, really cool radio. It's quite expensive, yes, but. Um, it's just cool, you can do almost everything with it. 
So I put in a receiver in the loader from ScaleArt, the small one. It has been connected already and now we can turn on the radio. So you saw maybe the, the flashing lights when they just flash. It's not connected when they are like this. Um, the model is connected to the radio. So what you can see in the display is the information that I uh, hope you can see it. It is the information that the Bobcat is connected. And now let's start the pump and do some exercise. And so what you can see here is the cool thing is, and uh, yeah, just it's just amazing. It is like the real thing. I've never driven the real one uh, in real life, unfortunately, but uh, the model is doing this, I think, quite well. Is What you see here is you can run it very smoothly, and uh, the turning radius is just awesome. It is so small, you can put it on your table in the living room and have fun. As you can see, the only thing that is missing here is the sand. There is no sand on the table. But in a few minutes I will change um, the bucket. I will install the fork and then we can try to uh, operate the stones on the right side. But this is really cool. This is always important. Going fast is really easy. It is, it is not complicated. For, for, I think there's only uh, almost no model in the world that cannot go fast. But the hard thing is, the difficult thing is to operate your model that smooth. This is really important because this makes the difference and then you can have fun. And what I changed is I did not use the speed controllers that were in the kit. Um, I suppose they are quite quite cheap, so I didn't use them. I also used uh, two of the uh, two new speed controllers from uh, Mehrbot Electronic, the German company. And as you can see, the loader can be operated really smooth. This is so important to have fun. If you if you cannot uh, operate your loader that that uh, good that well there won't be any fun this is really important it's it's the same with the with the hydraulics by the way uh, it's important that you can do this smoothly slowly like this because if you can you will not be able to Work from you. you can always do this very fast, but this is this is not really good. This is so cool. The turning radius is just awesome, and this is what the real machine also makes makes it so so good.
So before I change the bucket to the fork, I would like to show you how uh, powerful it is. Um, it is, by the way, I, I guess something, something around three kilograms. This is really heavy. It is really heavy. You will not uh, expect it when you see this machine, but it is due to the fact that it has been uh, made almost out of metal. All the parts are metal. The only plastic things are the cabin and this hood all the, and, and the door. Uh, all the other things are made out of metal. So it's really heavy um, and it is so well manufactured, so well built. This is it's just, it's amazing. It is really amazing and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding my friends. This is really a cool thing. And the combination with the scale art commander is for me the best you can find. I know this, this radio is quite expensive, but it is really a good combination.
I hope my friends that you got a good impression of this RC model and uh, this is not my last video with it um, so um, what's still missing here what you uh, maybe have already seen is that the, the windows are missing the cabin that needs something to be put in the seat is missing uh, the exhaust pipe is missing the, the headlights the backlights uh, the rear lights and all these things are still missing I will work on it and when it's completely finished I will do a last video and show you how it looks, how it feels and give you uh, my first impressions of playing with it. So stay healthy, have a good time and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.